This is the Bible that you gave me when I was going through a rough time during my parents' divorce. I remember you told me that God's word is powerful and true, that it would comfort me during that hard time. I know you're not really into the Bible these days, but I hope you still know deep down that it's the truth. I think it's the only way you'll find any kind of lasting happiness. I'm sorry I gave up on you, but I was so guarded when you came back. It was really hard feeling forgotten here with Emma and all. I guess I was just scared and hurt. I am glad that you came back. I know you have your life now and we have ours and that's okay. But I hope you know that you're welcome to visit anytime. Emma loves you. I forgive you. We're praying for you, Jake. For I know the plans I have for you. Declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope. And a future. I don't know what I'm doing. You got my attention. I'm listening, Lord. Everything I touch seems to blow up in my face. I'm sorry. Forgive me, Lord. I've been greedy and selfish and self-centered. I know that this is your word. I believe this. And I know you have a plan for my life. I just can't. I can't fix this, Lord. I can't. I can't do it. I want my family back. I want Jessica, Lord. I want to be Emma's dad. And I want a, a good relationship with my father. Please forgive me, Lord. I'm so sorry. I know you love me because you sent your son Jesus to die for my sin. I believe it. My life is yours. I'm ready for whatever you got.